you have an old 18 wheel trailer that's leaking, you use it for storage, hey, we figured out a way to keep ours from leaking. Come on, let me show you. What we've got here is a old refrigerator trailer, a reefer, and uh, it's all insulated, but it had damage where it rolled on top of itself. You can see it here. And then the entire front top portion is damaged. He's already had this about 20 years, but we're, we're, it's letting in water. You can see the damage even on the side here as, as well. All right, what we've been doing now is we had to take this metal here and cut it out with a saws off. We did the same thing here on this support. I'm gonna take you up on top on the ladder and show you an up here. And then what we're getting ready to do. All right, now you can see where I came down the side with that saws off. Everything is off of here now. So we're doing good. Now, what you're seeing on the side is an expanse here. And we're gonna put boards. We're actually gonna lay them down like this. There's a little ledge over there. Uh, we're gonna lay them like this. And uh, we're gonna wedge them in pretty good. You can see here what we've done. We've got the two by fours doubled all the way down. And uh, then we have a two by four going down through the middle. And so what we're gonna do now is call around to some RV places and some local steel places and see what they would suggest. Because the goal here is not just to uh, cover it from rain, but uh, he really wants it completely sealed off because he doesn't want any mice or tree rats or anything, pack rats getting in here, which this is an ideal, uh, this is a haven for them. This is what it looks like on top. Hmm. Don't that look fancy? What this is, this is actually from a trailer, 18 wheel trailer repair shop and it is aluminum and it's sold in by the linear foot in sheets. Now I'm standing on it so <coughs> it's strong. I'm up on top of the trailer. I'm going to walk down a little ways so you can get a good look at what I'm talking about. Okay. Now this is the front end of this reefer front end that was damaged in a rollover. Now on the side over here, you can see our two by four. That's in the I-beam. That's all we did. Just put a two by four on the outside and one all the way down. This one took two two by fours on this side because we didn't have one that was quite long enough to take it to the other. Now what we did to screw these in, we just used about three or four self-tapping screws with uh, washers on them. And uh, that would go through the two by four. We'd pre-drilled the two by four and then drilled into this I beam. And you can tell, I mean, that's, that's, that's solid. You can see we started to drill one here, but backed out. But uh, anyway, it, uh, it, it gave us something to screw to on the edge where this metal would go. Now this metal was created exactly for an 18 wheeler. Now it was $18 a linear foot. Now I know what you're thinking, that's a lot of, that's a lot of money. This costs about $300 to do, that's right. But by the time you would buy tar paper and shingles and whatever else you want to do to put up this structure, you're going to spend more than that and this ain't going to go away for a long time. So you're going to come out ahead. Now, what did we do to seal it? First of all, we took and drilled through all the way down, putting them about every six inches, even closer sometimes if they were bowing. All right, all the way down. And when we laid this piece down here on the end, see the way it is, it dips right here. Now you may not be able to see it. I'm gonna go down here on the ground so you can see maybe this dip. I think that shows that dip pretty good. Rain's gonna collect right here. So what you gonna do? We squeezed a boatload of silicone, just clear old silicone, under there. You can see some of it hanging out here. And then we took 
this piece of, it's not really angle iron, but anyway, it's a piece of iron. And uh, we drilled a hole here, and then we drilled one more on the end to hit our I-beam. And then we screwed it down to press this end really tight. Let me, let me just lay down here and show you the front, because you've seen it from down below. All right, so see, we just pounded the fool out of this thing. On this side, there is a two by four underneath here, okay? And then we just focused on, we focused on drilling the holes and then screwing them in. And you can see we did them about every six inches or so. We did them just how we wanted to because we wanted to make sure that we had had a good, uh, a good, uh, good screw in that two by four. And uh, that's just what we did. We do have spray foam. You see that? We have spray foam in here. We put in the bigger holes, and then we siliconed all the way down. That's it. I mean, it really ain't nothing fancy. I think it's really easy to do this. The hard part, frankly, the hard part was to uh, actually build the two by fours structure so that you could walk on it, do anything you wanted to on it. But that's it. Ain't that pretty? I mean. Uh, he already spent over $300 on tar paper and plywood and everything else. This dude right here, he's the one who came up with it. It wasn't me. It's going to be here for a long time, a lot longer than uh, we're going to be around. And it'll keep that water out. It may need some more silicone from time to time in some of these places, but even that's going to be few and far between. Yep. Well, so if you've got a, if you've got a reefer and or some old trailer and you got a section of it that's leaking and you're just wondering what to do. Uh, maybe this uh, little experiment that we did that worked for us will work for you.